learn from uh, her parents by uh, duplicating our uh, like from the parents like uh, mimicking mimicking them like what their parents do they they want to do that like them like just copying them if they do a good thing then the uh, the child learned a good thing if the parents do, did a wrong which means they don't want uh, then the child also learns the bad thing so it's a, uh, it's all about the parents what they do the uh, children is this just a mirror of the parents it's like this when they are children but when we adults we have the mentality that which is wrong and which is right then we do the do the good thing according to our mentality and the bad thing according to our our mentality but when i when i'm i was a child i learned all these things from my parents like uh, like mirroring them is it true is it like that that's a very okay. good point Mark, I think you can actually, uh, you know, shed some lights. You know that, uh, that uh, my childhood was in Bangladesh, uh, and and what you said exactly the same thing happened to me, that we never asked to our parents why I should do that, why I should not do that way. So whatever they said, we just followed. That was the culture. That was the you know that uh, the tradition we had. But in the UK, even my child, my children, they never do that way the way we want to do. They would like to see the justification why they should do it. Even this morning, we are asking actually something. Then my son was saying, Dad, can you tell me why I should do that way? Give me the, you know, some good things. But I feel that I should do the things that way. You know, that we have that fantastic discussion between children and the parents, always, you know, whatever we do. Mark, can you uh, shed some light yeah. how we can learn by asking questions? We learn by, we learn by doing, we learn by emulating. You, you, you just made a very good point, Janet. Um, we, that's called modeling, basically. We see what someone else does and we replicate it. That's how we learn to ride a bike or we learn to swim. We do that. But a very important part of our learning process is question. What is that? What is that called? What does that do? What is that animal? We ask questions. And in fact, right through our business life, we have to ask questions. If you're going to buy a new car, you want to know certain things about that car. And one thing I would urge any entrepreneur to do is to be curious and ask questions. You need to find out how does this work? How do you do that? How do you get into this market? How can I perfect my product? It's important. This is one of the toughest challenges for us as adults is to overcome our nervousness, our natural humility, and ask questions. And we would encourage you, both Doctor and myself would say, look, you've got a golden opportunity. Use this opportunity. Ask questions of us. Make contributions, because that opens the whole thing out. Every one of us should have some questions, even if it's just one ask it because you just enrich your own experience the more we give the more we get back it's as simple as that and you'll find in business that is the way too that when you're at conferences you can stand at the edge of the room and speak to no one if you want to but the best conferences are when you you actually engage with people, you go up to people, you greet them, you ask them questions about themselves, or where they're from, and you get an opportunity to talk about what you do, what your product is or your service. So please, could I, I would implore our fellow participants, please think of some questions, think of something to contribute because you won't just get one little thing back, you'll get a lot much, a lot more back through mm -hmm. doing that. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I got uh, some point now, uh, all of you, please, if you have any, any questions, any points to raise, you can type and I can read out those. Uh, I have a point actually from Bonia uh, about personal development plan. Now, are you familiar with the personal development plan? Uh, just say yes or no or whether you are doing any personal development plan as part of your education or part of your business or part of your employment? Personal development plan? Any of you? Yes, I can see that uh, two answer. What about others? 
Are you familiar with the personal development plan? Yes. So no problem if, if you haven't done, it's okay. You know that uh, uh, I feel that uh, anyone, uh, many countries I, I found that this is not the part of the educational, uh, you know, that program. Like in the UK, anyone uh, going to the, you know, that, uh, you know, that whether you are doing any professional qualification or vocational qualification or the university undergrad program, the first year, the each individual student must develop their plan. Plan is very important because that is most systematic. The plan will ask you vital questions, you know, that those questions you are searching for. The, uh, without that plan, uh, how we are going to actually focus on something, how we are going to bring our efficiencies, how we are going to bring our level of competencies, how we feel that we have uh, certain qualities uh, to achieve our goals. So I think that you know whether you are writing, uh, you are doing a degree program or master's program or conducting your PhD, whether you are a, even an author writing something, creative writing, you are a poet, whether you are uh, you know that manager or uh, normal workers, or you are planning to start a new project, or you are start, you know planning to start a new collaboration uh, or partnership business, or you know, you would like to move uh, to do something, uh, whatever it is, business or non-business, education, academia, and so on. Personal development plan is a systematic plan, systematic way to develop your objectives, identifying your current situation in terms of your own strengths and weaknesses, and then finding the right strategies and, uh, and creating the action plan. I think, you know, the sim simple form of a personal development plan, what you can do, like uh, you are doing a degree program or master's, or you would like to enter into a new business. Think about what is your vision. The first things, always remember, who am I? Uh, that is the first question we have to ask. The who am I means, uh, you know, that uh, your identity means, uh, you know, that you level of competencies means what you want to do. In terms of business orientation, we are looking your vision, your mission, and your long-term goals. So what is your vision? Say, I'd like to finish my qualification with excellent marks, you know? So if you have that vision, that's good. Now, if you say that I'd like to move from employment to start my own business within the next two years, that can be your vision, isn't it? We don't know which business you would like to be, but you are saying that I would like to be a, an efficient businessman, or I'd like to be an efficient entrepreneur, or I'd like to be a, you know, the top, uh, is an important businessman in particular country, whatever it is. So vision will actually be, you know, that uh, will tell you that what is your long-term goals, uh, what you would like to be. Now, once you have your vision, then, you know, that translate it into, or uh, break down the vision into a number of missions. You can have a single mission or you can have the multiple missions. It depends what you are planning to do. And the set your goal. Now, the time you set you in that smart goal or smart objective, uh, 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 for example, that uh, I would like to provide, you know, the top class business solution to the, uh, to the suppliers uh, within the detailing industry. If it is your, you know, that objective, long-term objective within the next five years. So then now you think that, so what you need, identify what you need to do. So what are the qualities you need to do to offer that business solution to the group of people? Do you have the qualities? Do you have the educational background? Do you have the attitude? Do you have the behavioral patterns? Do you have the right knowledge? So what are the strengths and what are the weaknesses you have? So you actually tell you that you found that you have 10 strengths and those strengths are relevant to providing the business solution to the, you know, the certain groups of people within the detailing. Then you just identify weaknesses. What are the weaknesses you have? And you found the list of weaknesses that you know you need to achieve in order to you know to you know that uh, successfully offer the business solution uh, to the group of people so unless you understand your weaknesses unless you understand your strength how you can set that i would like to get uh, a plus in the examinations so uh, uh, how do you actually justify that statement that i would like to get you know uh, first as fast in my degree qualifications so whatever you do you know that whether it is in business so set the business, set the goal, then first things you should do, identify your strengths and weaknesses. Then you see that how weaknesses, so you have to have a strategies
to overcome those weaknesses. So if you have a weakness that you don't have the good communication, I'm sure that Mark is going to discuss about communication next week. So if you think that, that you don't have good communication, you don't have the good writing skill, you don't have the good management skill or leadership skill, or you don't have, uh, you don't know how to set a goals, objectives, then without doing this, you can't achieve what you are planning to achieve. So it means uh, you have to find out how I can improve my business communication, how I can improve my marketing knowledge or accounting knowledge or other knowledge such as, you know, all entrepreneurs lie in the UK. One of the most important topic we are actually, we are teaching them uh, intellectual property rights. Do you have, do you understand what is intellectual property rights? as a businessman, what rights should be protected by you uh, or by law. So this is, these are the things most important for you. So what are the knowledge you need, attitude you need, the skills you need, and the behavioral patterns you need to successfully you know, complete uh, some projects. So business plan or personal development plan indicate how to set vision, how to set mission, how to set objectives, then identifying where you are standing at the moment means your strength, your opportunities, your threats, and your uh, weaknesses. Specifically, we are looking for weaknesses because strengths are fine, uh, you know, that those are relevant to achieving your objectives. So when you find out that there are plenty of or multiple of weaknesses, then you have to have the action plan, how those weaknesses can be mitigated or overcome. And when you have the plan, few things. One is that the strategies you are going to take, how that can be improved, when that can, can be improved, you have to set a time scale, and how you're going to measure that uh, this can be improved. Means you have to have a criteria uh, to see. Like when you are saying that, okay, I would like to improve my communication skill within the next three months. So we'd like to see the whole, you know, that uh, the full action plan for that. So I would like to say that, uh, please, please make sure that, uh, you know, whatever you do, whether it is in personal life or the professional life or business life, please make sure that every steps, even nowadays, even, even myself, I have the personal development plan for anything I don't know. Like I, I, I tell you that uh, Mark T. Jones and myself, we are now uh, bringing our next book that is going to publish in August. We did that personal development plan. What are the weaknesses we have? How we can actually overcome those weaknesses? So this is most important way uh, to spot something that is missing within you and then overcome what you are intend to, what you are intending to plan, you know, achieve uh, in, in near future or midterm or long term. So personal development plan uh, to make something successful. So this is most important. So let us see whether we have any further questions uh, from the audience. Um, no. Um, 